We turn now to a question from a listener in Hillsboro, Ohio, who asks, Would you please discuss the issue of rewards for the Christian? 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 12 through 14 seem to indicate that there will be some type of rewards, but Christ's teaching in Matthew seems to indicate otherwise. I'd like to turn and read the passage that you've given in 1 Corinthians, and that, by the way, is in the third chapter. And I want to read now. You've given me verses 12 and 14. Now, if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. Now, there are two things that we need to note. Number one is that we're told that some people build with gold and silver and precious stones, and some build with wood, hay, and stubble. What does fire do to wood, hay, and stubble? Well, it consumes it, reduces it to a shovel full of ashes. What about gold and silver? Well, it's refined by fire. The dross is drawn off, and you get the pure gold. So that actually it's not the amount of work you do, it's what kind of work you're doing. Are you working for the Lord? Do you know there are a lot of big haystacks being built today? A preacher friend of mine down in Florida is telling about a, another friend of ours. I said, how's he getting along? He says, oh, he's building the kingdom. He has three services, you know, every Sunday morning, not much else. Sunday night is pretty weak soup and... I don't think he has Bible study on Wednesday night, but a big show for Sunday morning. Well, that could be. I hope it's not. We know this man, and it could be wood, hay, and stubble. And that's going to go up in smoke. So it's not the amount of work you do. It's the what kind of work are you doing. That's important. Then the second feature, and that's back in Matthew 20, all got the same thing. Why? Because he didn't pay them according to the amount of work they did. He paid them according to their faithfulness. You see, at the end of the parable about the talents and the pounds, why it says, well done, thou good and faithful servant. He didn't say, whoopee, you really did a big job down there. You got the multitudes. No, may I say to you, faithfulness is the basis of, on which he rewards faithfulness and then the kind of work you're doing. That is, is it for him or for your glory? Are you doing it for self or are you doing it for the Savior? Makes all the difference in the world. So that's the basis on which he rewards.